What's up everybody? I'm Brandon. You are back in the Gilstrap Garage. Today, I've got a good customer of mine coming in for hopefully a quick fix. He came to me like a week ago and said uh, that his he felt like his, well, okay, more than a week ago, he started saying, hey, I don't think my fuel level is reading correctly because I'll put in a full tank, it'll say I have a half, and then it jumps, it changes. Okay, let me know when you want me to take a look at it. And then some time passed and about a week ago, maybe two weeks ago, he's like, look, this thing is not working anymore. I'm not getting uh, any reading on my fuel level. He was getting uh, that little red, the little red light, the little dummy light coming on. We read the code on it. I don't remember what the code was, but it was basically saying that the fuel level sensor was not reading. So I looked online and I thought I had the right part number. And I said, you know what? I'm gonna go into Harley and I'm gonna cross-reference this number with what they say I need. And I had the completely wrong number, so I'm glad we didn't order it. We, we ordered the part. It came in in less than a week, so he's on his way. We're gonna tear into it. We're gonna see what it's gonna take to get this bike on the road. Stay tuned. All right, we've got a 2020, what is it, soft tail standard, right? So, what's going on with this thing, dude? When you're riding, the red light's flashing on, yeah, the red and it's saying the fuel level's not reading right. Yeah. So we're suspecting that it's gonna be this fuel sending unit right here, and which actually, the one that I found online was not the same part number they had a Harley, so I'm glad we didn't order it online. So it's got but like at least like a, you know, quarter one tank, tank in there yeah, right now. at least yeah. a quarter tank, and it's and really it's, it's not reading at all. So we're thinking it's a fuel sending unit. This thing is not easy to drain the gas on, but I'm hoping I can just flip it upside down and not spill it everywhere. But I'm gonna pull that off and we're gonna get this sending unit out of here. The vent tube. Harness for the sending unit. Hey, at least they don't have that crossover line. Oh yeah, there's quite a bit of fuel in there. Is there? I mean, enough to where it should be reading something. Yeah. But I'm hoping that's a good seal on there and I can just flip this thing upside down and do it all on the spot right. like that. I spill, I spill fuel all the time. Yeah, I just, every, dude, every time I do anything with fuel, I just smell like it for the rest of the day. Yeah, I know. And with the way gas prices are right now, dude, I'm gonna owe you money for the job if I spill too much. <laughs> so we good see you on this go. Try to put this on the camera side. Yeah. I'm gonna be crazy to open this thing up and see it like broken in there or something. Oh. I just how many miles are on the bike? Like 15, yeah, 16? 15. Dude, that's crazy. That seems like that's a super premature failure, but. But it's, it started once it got cold. Panic for a second, I forgot about the gasket. That thing sits all the way up in there. And that goes to the top of the tank. That's crazy. The 
can plug it in the bike and see if it changes the position. Yeah. I'll do that. All right, we're gonna plug this thing in, see if the fuel value will change as we move that sensor. Ready? Put the key it on? Yeah. Nothing, huh? Dude, in 20 years, there's gonna be some guy out here, out there looking for this fuel pump assembly right here, uh -huh. and they're gonna be non-existent. That's the same thing that's happening in that purple Dyna that I got right there. Yeah. This fuel sending unit right here. I need this gasket before I put that tank back together, and that, that gasket is non-existent. Nobody makes it anymore. Yeah. Clip comes out. It's like this locks right here. Dang, that's easy. To replace it? Yeah. See if it changes now. Ready? Yep, go for it. Yeah, buddy. There it goes. Cool. Honestly, that gasket looks like it's in good enough shape. It might have been able to be reused, but... Nah. Well, they don't always go easy, but it's sure nice when they do. Little Loctite on all these threads. Just nice and snug, nothing crazy. Dude, I'm gonna throw my phone off a bridge. Plug the sending unit back in, or fuel pump plug back in, hook up the vent. Hook up your, your supply line.
Was this thing still throwing a code too or no? I didn't get no code. Okay. I didn't see one. That's good. It was just that one that uh just that one time? Yeah. yeah. And I the blinking light only came on like twice. After we ran it? Yeah. That was it. Oh, you got your fob? Oh, yeah. My bad, dude. Yeah, yeah look at dude. that. Ready for Vegas. There you go, dude. Oh, cool. Yeah. Oh, cool. man. Is that light bar taking a dump? Yeah. Oh, no way. Yeah. It's like, that first it was those sucks. Side, and then all the rest of it's starting to like blink, too. Oh, man. All right. I'll buy another one. Well, cool, dude. Hell yeah. Glad we fixed it. Another satisfied customer. Let's go over these part numbers real quick. Uh, the fuel level fuel level sensor. I'll put these down in the description too, if I remember. Six one two zero 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 five six, and that would be this piece here. And then we have. Uh, the seal for the fuel pump, 75301-07. That's this little green gasket here. So, hope you guys found that video helpful. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.